So some of you may still remember, okay, I did a video about a year ago, late September last year, about the GTA 6 League gameplay footage, right? We got like about 90 clips and images from this early alpha gameplay of GTA 6, and I reacted to it. Uh, well, Take 2 Interactive was not pleased. They copyright struck my channel for that, took the video down forcefully, and uh, well, uh, for three months I had a copyright strike because of that on my channel. But it's all good now, it's all water under the bridge, because after three months these copyright strikes expire. But at the time, there were those rumors going on who's responsible for the leaks. And uh, one rumor was that there is this 17-year-old hacker kid that has been arrested in London or like in the UK somewhere. And that that kid together with his friends was responsible not only for this, but for a series of other hacks at the time. Later then, that was confirmed, but obviously the police was not very clear on, on how all this connects and relates. But now we have an update, okay? And the update is that... The GTA 6 hacker who leaked 90 clips last year will reportedly not be found guilty due to being mentally unfit for trial, hence serving no prison time. Okay. Now I'm laughing, first of all, like if he really is struggling with like mental challenges that make him unfit for the trial, you know, I don't want to ridicule this, obviously. But I mean, the dude with his homies apparently, allegedly, hacked Revolut. Okay, they hacked Uber, caused nearly $3 million in damage. They hacked NVIDIA, where they stole like a terabyte of company data, along with all the GPU designs. Okay, he hacked into the City of London's police cloud storage weeks after the police detained him uh, in connection with hacks uh, regarding BT, which is the British Telecom, and EE, which is like a huge English mobile phone provider. Okay, so he obviously also did the Rockstar hack. Then he blackmailed Rockstar for that. And at the time he was, I mean, he just now turned 18. And now he even gets away, it looks like, with no jail time. I mean, what a freaking, I mean, honestly, dude, what a legend, okay? And I hate to be the guy who speaks positively about people who allegedly have committed crimes and stuff against the law. But for example, he didn't do just like dump uh, lizard squad DDoS attacks, okay, that take down the PSN. They actually leaked data, they actually leaked plans, they leaked gameplay footage for GTA 6. They actually made a difference. They did something, whether you like it or not. But when it comes to the question whether he's mentally fit to stand true, trial. Uh, I mean, look, dude, I'm not a psychologist. I'm not anyone who works in medical care or anything like that. But my hot take on this is that if you're mentally fit enough to hack all these companies to leak user data, you know, 90 videos of GTA, then hold the company ransom for it. I mean, it sounds like that person is, is fit to stand a trial to me as an outsider's perspective, who has no medical background, okay? I mean, I don't know. It just sounds like that to me. Also, it's not entirely true what they say in this tweet, uh, I believe, because they say he will reportedly not be found guilty. Well, what I heard is that there will be a jury and they will not determine whether he's guilty, but instead they will decide if he did or did not commit these acts. Okay, that's what the jury is there for. But there will be no jail time because the judge has found that he is psychologically not fit to stand trial. I, I Look, I'm not a legal person either, but that's what I read. And I keep saying allegedly, but he already has, from what I read, pleaded guilty to some of the charges. Okay, he's pleaded guilty to one count of fraud and two offenses under the Computer Misuse Act, as well as breaching bail conditions. But then on the other hand, he denies other allegations, like two counts of blackmailing, two counts of fraud, three Computer Misuse Act allegations related to hacking BT and NVIDIA. So it's all up in the air. There will be some kind of jury, but the kid is not going to go to jail. And let's be honest, okay, it's probably for the better. I wouldn't be surprised if in three, four years time we hear that Google or even like the MI6, some secret service agency snatched up that guy and now he's working for them to prevent attacks like, I don't know. I could imagine that. But right now it just seems like an invitation for more people to leak stuff. It's like he really did heinous data breaches. Do you know what I mean? He did. He, he, I did the list with you guys. It's insane. The stuff that he did is insane. The amount of it. And here he is getting a free out of jail card. You know what I mean? Like, th there will be probably some consequences. I don't know if he has to, like, do social services or whether he actually has to be in some kind of institution where he is monitored. I don't know what his consequence, but there's no jail time. So, yeah, it's like an invitation for anyone else to do this as well because it seems like there are no consequences as long as you could claim that you're psychologically not fit for you know i'm not encouraging anyone obviously to leak i'm just saying it has this connotation of 
very little consequences for quite heinous acts of data breaches. Anyway, these are my thoughts, guys. It's a crazy story. I will follow up on it if we hear more about it in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, smash the like button. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, if you're still watching, congratulations, but you should join our Discord, okay? Because we've got a lovely community. It's totally free. I'm hanging out there. Other people hanging out there. Join through the link in the description. You just have to click it. You end up in a, in a welcome room. It's all very easy and convenient. So join the Discord, meet new people, discuss topics like this one. I'd hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.